Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bella and I'm a seamstress. Today I want to do a bit of a thrift flip. Fingers crossed it goes the way I'm picturing it in my head. So I thrifted this pair of J. Crew jeans a while ago and I was obsessed with them. I saw them at the thrift store, fell in love with them, couldn't justify buying them and then I couldn't stop thinking about them, had to go back and get them and they were still there. So I took it as a sign. I needed to buy them. But then when I got them home, there's just something that wasn't right about them. They kind of sit not exactly where I want them to on the waist and the leg just, it wasn't right for me. I wish these were more high-waisted and just basically a completely different fit. So I thought the denim is really nice. I love the top stitching detail on this color. So I thought I would try to turn these into something else. So I saw a TikTok by a user named Chelsea Ma. I'll put her TikTok link down below so you can go check out her videos. But she turned a pair of cargo pants into a mini skirt. And so I'm gonna try to attempt something like that. And then with the leftover pant fabric, after we make this into a skirt, I wanna make sort of just like a very straight across the top, sort of corset style top, but I think I'm just gonna do a zipper in the back. So apparently all we need to do is cut a few inches down from the crotch here. I'm gonna try to be generous with this just so that it doesn't end up being too short in the end. And then we just need to seam rip the curved area here and then up to the zipper and up here. I don't know, so that you can eventually completely straighten out the seams. I just realized I don't know, I don't think I have tan thread like this. So that might be an issue. Okay, let's start cutting these. Now is the point where if I just want these to be cut off shorts, it's the point of no return. But I think I'm gonna take the risk of potentially ruining these and go for the skirt. So I'm gonna get started doing my least favorite thing ever, seam ripping, and I'll see you back here when it's all torn apart. Okay, so I'm trying this on now and I think actually if I just cut it off where the crotch seam, where I ripped it to, then it might be the right length. So that might work. Let's see. I also don't want it to be too short though. You know, like, is that too short? Okay, I'm scared, but I'm gonna cut this. Wow, that looks so short, but it sits so low. So I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go like an inch down. Because again, I'm scared. Make sure that you don't cut the pockets because that would suck. Okay, I'm just kind of easing it at like a little bit of an angle. Now I'm just gonna cut this here at the edge and then turn it over to match the other side so I can use it as a guide to cut it so I know that the angle is the same. This is either gonna look amazing or I've just completely ruined it. We will see. Okay, now looking at the back, the only problem here is that like this is so flared out, obviously, because it has to account for your butt. But I'm wondering, do I taper it in like this to kind of make it a little bit more straight or do I just cut it up a little bit higher? I don't want the back to be too short though. I'm gonna start by using the front line as a guide and just at least cutting it to the center of the crotch seam there.
So basically what I've just done here is I've just pinned, I've made like folds, almost like how you would a dart, but I just laid them flat just to kind of reduce the curve of the denim as much as I could. And then I did the same thing on the back. So we're gonna see how flat this is gonna lay once I actually stitch those down. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll try it on and see if I can just go straight to hemming it from there. So what I think I'm gonna do for the back instead is actually more like a dart because it is way more curved on the back. So this is kind of what I'm working with right now. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here, but I think I'm gonna sew this one out. Sew this one first and see how that looks and then do this one just so it's not in the way. Okay, so the situation basically is that this skirt is extremely short. I think what I'm gonna have to do now is do a stitch along here, along the hem, and then just let the bottom fray as opposed to like turning it up because I don't even think I have enough fabric to do that. Maybe, I don't know. I get the whole like micro skirt thing but I'm like, I don't know how much I get it, you know? I decided to just go full on micro skirt. And you know what? It is what it is. This is <laughs> probably the shortest skirt I've ever owned, but I wanna embrace new trends. I wanna wear things that make me uncomfortable. And I feel like by summer, once I'm more used to having my legs out, I could make this work maybe <laughs> i don't know what i did have to do though for the hem since i didn't feel like i had enough fabric to double the fabric over is i just used pinking shears to trim this so that it wouldn't fray in the wash or anything and then i just folded it over once and i did two lines of stitching all in all you know what this is cute i like how it turned out i didn't completely ruin the pants and now i have two pant legs left to work with for some sort of top to go with this. So I'm gonna try to gather some inspiration for that right now. Okay, I'm gonna call this thrift flip there because as you can see behind me, I have a mess of patterns on this table. I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for the top and I think I'm gonna leave that for another day because I think what I have in mind is gonna maybe be a little bit more difficult than what I anticipated, so I might need to get a pattern and go through all of that. I don't necessarily trust myself to draft a pattern for it, especially when I have such limited fabric, so I wanna be really careful about making the right thing with that. So I'm gonna leave it there. This is how the skirt turned out. I think it looks so cute. It is definitely on the short side for what I generally would wear, but I think maybe in the summer it won't feel as short even still this is definitely a skirt that i will not be bending over in and will maybe only wear around certain people maybe not like a going to the grocery store skirt maybe more like hanging out with my best friend's skirt you know but i ended up styling it with this brown knit turtleneck and vintage blazer and these sort of western style boots and i think it looks so so cute even with tights in the fall, I think it's just going to be a great layering piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini thrift flip tutorial. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> if you did, make sure to give it a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a video. And I'll see you back here next time.